What's up everyone, this is Brian from Software Media and today I'm going to be showing you around Sony Acid Pro 7. This is a great program. Uh, one of my favorite features, um, if you're into mixing at all, is their uh, sound mapping program. So you can pull up a track to a new, pull up a song to a new track here, and this beat mapper program comes up and it asks you if you'd like to use the beat mapper wizard to uh, get your tempo information correct. So let's do this. It automatically finds the first downbeat for us, which is looking pretty correct. We can zoom in and see if it should be changed at all, but it's looking fine to me. So we'll go the next step, play it, and listen to it. Sounded good. So let's add that in. And it looks all good. There we go. So that's the beat mapper in Acid Pro, which is a really great feature. Another great feature is the easy to use mixing console with all these great filters on the side. So say you have a lot going on um, in your tracks and you want to mix a bunch of stuff. We have all these great convenient filters right on the side where we can only see MIDI tracks or only see audio tracks um, depending on what we want. We can also decide what we want to see at the bottom here, faders, IOs, meters, anything. It's all clicks of the buttons right down here on the mixing console. Adding new tracks in Acid is really easy. All you have to do is go to Insert, and you can insert an audio or MIDI track. So let's get a new MIDI track. Let's pick. We want a quick fade here, and then we can pull up our 